hi welcome back to my channel um if you're new here i'm jackie i do fashion fitness lots of lululemon hauls and that's what saturdays are devoted to is lululemon and so today we have a lululemon haul um i picked up some things this past week i have a couple of things that i picked up really just for the sake of trying um so i could show you guys see if anything happens to be a winner but not seriously high expectations um, and then I picked up a couple of things that I was really trying to purposefully sort of fill some holes in uh, my closet for this coming season. So if you are interested in seeing what I picked up, then stick with me. I will have all of my sizes for reference in the description box below and also the links to everything if you are shopping. And if you like this video and you like this kind of video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and let's get on with the first item. Okay, first up, what I am wearing, this is the Maldives green um, scuba oversized half zip hoodie. I am wearing it with my like a cloud bra in white and um, I'm actually wearing it with some white align six inch shorts, which you cannot see right here, but um, I just love the Maldives green with white. I look forward to wearing lots of whites during the spring and summer and I just think that this looks so crisp and pretty up against a pure white so i have these shards from last season i'm not sure if the white align six inches shards are even available right now if they are i definitely recommend you grabbing it because that is definitely one of the colors that sells out so if it is available i will have it linked below okay so the first item this is something that i saw drop i knew right away that i wanted to pick it up and give it a try i didn't necessarily have super high hopes because i've had an item similar to this in the past and it was okay. I didn't wear it a lot because I just didn't feel super confident in it. So what I grabbed is the ribbed contoured unitard six inch length. So this is the new unitard that Lululemon came out with. Um, and I was so excited because of the six inch length. And I also looked at the shape of it and I thought that this shape could have been much better for my body type. So one of my problems with the, the Align version of it was the deep V. So it has that typical Align tank neckline on the other last year's version. It was not as much coverage as I really felt comfortable in certain situations. So um, this does not run as deep and I saw it on the model right away and I thought, oh, that looks like something that I could work with more plus the six inch length. And it just made me say, okay, I have to try this. Body suits like this, unitards, are super popular. Um, I feel like this one looks kind of similar to one that Aritzia has that I've never tried, so I cannot compare by any means, but um, they're really popular and people are styling them. I like these because people are styling them sort of for just casual wear. Um, and I think that there are some really cute ways to style it that way and wear casually. I can't honestly see myself wearing this to the gym, I don't know. I, I know that it's an easy, um, just one piece and you don't have to worry about the bra because there is the shelf bra in it. So that's really nice. I just can't see myself wearing it to the gym. Although you absolutely could, I just personally, I don't know, I just don't see it. Um, but I casually is what I was hoping to be able to style it for. So um, this is what it looks like. It is Luxstream fabric, so it is, that like slick next to your skin fabric, but the outside of it is like ribbed and it's a, a much more compressive fabric than last year's version in the Align um, style. So this is definitely much more compressive, which for me, I thought, well, that's pretty nice because the Align fabric just sort of, it lets everything hang out and that is exactly what it's intended for. But if you know, like in my case, I was thinking, oh, well, maybe it sucked my stomach in just a little bit more. And I do feel like it does. Although I did, I did take a size eight in this and it probably would even more if I were able to stay true to size for my bottom size, which is a six, but I did size up to the eight in order to accommodate the top. So I do recommend size wise that you would size up one if you are between sizes or if you have um, a different size top or bottom, I'd go with the, the larger of the two. Um, I would definitely stick with bra size if bra size is larger than bottom size um, because like I said, it is pretty compressive. So the outside has ribbed material. So it has a seam right down the front and then it has 
seams right here and there are seams right there in the back and you can see that the logo is right here in the back. Um, I like that it doesn't dip quite as low. I feel like that is nice and flattering on my body type. I appreciate it. I can wear it more easily in more situations. Um, I think that it creates a really nice look. I feel like I tried on the aligns just for myself to compare and definitely hands down, this looks better on me um, and kind of feels better on me. I will say that these straps, they're pretty supportive and tight, but if you are um, a lot taller than me, it could pull. Now there's plenty of length, so I'm not saying that the torso isn't long enough. I really do feel like that it'll be long enough for my taller friends, but um, just know that in order to get the support that you need, this is, you know, you feel, it's a thin strap as well. So you feel that a little bit. It says that it's intended for A to B cup. I am D to double D and I have no problem whenever I size up to my bra size with it. I feel like it's nice and supportive and comfortable. Um, and then it does have removable cup pads, which I have no complaints with these. I am not a person that usually likes removable cup pads, but in this case, it seems to be laying really flat and um, just where you want it to be. So hopefully when you wash, it remains the same, but um, overall, I really like it. I am not positive whether I am going to decide to keep it. I'm kind of on the fence about it just because I really didn't wear my Align version all that much last year. I wanted to in my mind, but I just didn't pull for it as much as I wanted to, I wore it a couple of times and that was it. And I wanna say, yeah, this is $138. So at this price point, I really need to think about if it's gonna get the amount of use that it needs to for me to justify it. But I do really like it. I feel like it's flattering. I think that I prefer it over the Align version. Um, I think that that's gonna be just a matter of personal preference. So for me, I think that it's a winner. I'm just not positive whether it's something that I really need. If you have an opinion, let me know. And if you've tried it yet, let me know. I'm really curious about that. Okay, and next up is the other item that I was saying was a new item that I picked up that I didn't necessarily have super high hopes about. And that is the high neck tight fit shelf bodysuit. So, so far, I've not found a bodysuit from Lululemon that I've just been head over heels with. And I think I really like when I find items from Lululemon that I can wear casually just as well as, you know, in um, when I'm working out or when, be when I'm being active. So I like things that transition and I can wear for multiple things. And Lululemon's quality just tends to be awesome. So I love whenever I can find something that I can wear casually as well, not just for working out. Um, so I had to try this out the, um, because I do love bodysuits and there are some positives about it, but some things that are just not my absolute favorite about it. So this does not say what the fabric is. It just says that it's a silky smooth four-way stretch fabric and it is so silky, so soft. It really feels like the lightest, butteriest material. So that's awesome. I love the color. I did get it in the color Java. I did pick it up in a size eight. Um, it has a couple of snaps at the bottom and it is a thong cut. You can see it has a couple of seams across the back and a couple of seams across the front. And it does have the shelf bra, the removable cup pads. Um, so it's just the one piece, which who doesn't love just one piece that you have to put on. I do feel like the cup pads sit pretty nicely, so I can really be hard on um, Lululemon's cup pads sometimes, but so far these look like they would sit nicely. Um, um, my thoughts on this, it is nice and long, it fits well, it is flattering. The things that I don't love about it, I didn't feel like these seams were really necessary and I felt like I would have liked it better if it didn't have it because then it could have been something that I used across the board. Whereas with the seams, it sort of gives away that it's an athletic piece, which I'm not mad at it for being an athletic piece, but I feel like this had the structure that it really could have just been something that I wore with a pair of jeans or a pair of jean shorts um, throughout the summertime. Um, I did try this on with my soft stream high rise pants and it looks really good. I'm not going to say it doesn't look good. I just, I feel like the seams kind of throw me off. They do give a little bit, I, or something with the shelf bra, 
gives me something with the shaping that is not my absolute favorite. And this is me splitting hairs, but it, I do that to decide whether I'm keeping a piece or not. So I am returning this one. I don't hate it. I just don't know that, that it's something that I'll pull for enough. And I have a lot of bodysuits and this just doesn't top all of them. The fabric would top it and the fit would top it. The comfort level would top it. The seams and the way that it, like the shape that it creates on me, they just don't win. So I'm sad about that, but I'm not really surprised about it because like I said, I have not had a whole lot of success with bodysuits from Lululemon and I've tried quite a few recently and I'm going to keep trying them because I just keep hoping. So I'm kind of sad, but it's going to definitely have to be a return for me. Okay, now on to the things that I sort of thought about and knew that I had to have in my wardrobe. Um, the strappy new loose shelf tank, you guys know, this has been one of my favorites. It was on my favorites video from 2022. They came back with more colors. Chambray is one of the colors that came out in this past drop and I'm so excited about it. The only color that I have not picked up is the purple color, and that's just because purple is not a color that I usually pull for. I was still tempted, even though it's not a color that I usually pull for, just because I love these so much, but I'm gonna wait and see if Lululemon releases any more. I might pick that one up if it's still available and goes on markdown, but I'm not gonna pay full price because it's just not a color that I would usually pull for. So um, this color, however, I love. I have always loved the chambray color. I think it's so pretty up against um, white opal bone, bright white. Um, and then of course I have other chambray pieces. So I'm excited about this. I actually have the soft stream high rise pants in chambray as well. So I know that I'm going to use this so, so much. Um, so this just, it does have the shelf bra. It is cut sort of in a square across in such a flattering way. You guys, this one is so flattering. Um, I love the little strappies on the back and it is cropped, but it does reach the length of my high rise leggings, all of my high rise shorts and everything. So it's just the perfect length. In my opinion, it's the perfect tank. It's definitely my favorite. So um, anyway, I consider this to be a staple and I'm so excited that they came back with more. If you haven't tried them yet, I highly recommend you try these. Next up, I picked up another Like a Cloud bra. Um, I get mine in the D to double D cup and of course in the color Maldives Green. Obviously, we love Maldives Green. This is not the heathered version. The one that I'm wearing is the heathered version. You can see that there is a slight difference and it is the heathering that makes it look like that. Although I do have to say they look a little bit different on camera. They're pulling a little bit more. This one's pulling a lot brighter and it doesn't actually look that different in person. It's just the lighting in here right now. But I love Maldives Green and I love a Like a Cloud bra. If you guys have been here for a minute, you know that this is my favorite bra ever. Um, highly, highly, highly recommend. If you haven't gotten one yet, you have to try it. Um, they have it in the um, B to C cup as well as D double D. So they have one for that fits everyone is what I'm saying. And you should definitely try one if you haven't yet. Love Maldives Green. I didn't have any, like I said, from the previous, um, whenever it came out previously. Um, but I absolutely love the color for the season. I'm just really excited that it came out in my favorite bra. So um, I've talked about these a million times, but they do not have any removable cup pads. It's just this fluffy, airy sort of fabric that the semi-formed um, cups are made of. It is the softest material ever. The back has just such a flat, it lays so flat and perfectly on your body. Um, the D to double D version does have the thicker strap on it, whereas the A to B or B to C cup version does not. But I am not sure if this came out in the B to C version or if it's just in the D to double D right now. I know that there are a couple of different styles of bras that came out in Maldives Green. But um, for me, whenever one of my colors drops in the Like a Cloud bra, it's an instant purchase for me every time because I love these so much and they are something that I wear absolutely every day. So uh, love this, totally solid purchase for me. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up was something I actually put a lot of thought into. So I've been thinking about what I want 
as far as my Lululemon collection goes, um, for my spring and summer items, the things that I want to wear, the things I want to make sure that I do have in my closet, and the things that I want to just tell myself ahead of time, don't get swayed by this or that. So um, one of the things that I know about myself is that I gravitate to a lot of neutral colors, white, black, tan, maybe gray. Um, and I do like a pop of color, but I do not do um, I get tired of lots and lots of colors. So at this time of year, I'm so excited about colors that I want to just buy all of them, but I know about myself that I always go back to my whites. So I decided that I needed to make sure at the beginning of the season that I was stocked up on some of the white pieces that I know that I'll use over and over. And whenever I get a bright color, it has to go with something for me I don't usually pair, so I wouldn't take this Maldives green and put it with a hot pink, even though it might work with the hot pink, it might look great with Sonic pink. I just, it's too much color, I would not do that. And I would put it with another Maldives green bottom or Maldives green top, but I usually like to break it up a little bit with a little bit of white. So I picked up another Define jacket. I have picked up a couple of them recently in um, different colors, mostly neutral colors, because I really am just trying to make sure that I have those pieces that I know that I'll pull far often. And in the summertime, springtime, I often wear a tank and a pair of shorts or a tank and a pair of leggings. And I need just a little bit more, something to show, throw over my shoulders. And these Define jackets are perfect for that. It's not always that I want something as heavy as like a hoodie because in the summertime it's 100 degrees. That's going to feel gross on my skin um, to walk outside with. But this is something that if I'm in the air condition, I'm just running to my car. Um, this is not going to kill me to have on because it's such a thin but nice extra layer and they look freaking awesome. So um, I just love Define jackets. I have been pulling for them a lot more here recently. I just like that it, you know, you look so polished and um, cute, but you have a little bit of extra warmth at the same time. So that's just perfect for me. I get mine in a size eight and I got this one. This is the Nulu version. It's the full length version and it's the one with the hood. And I put a lot of thought into which white one that I wanted because first of all, it's white. And white means that we are taking a chance with getting stains and that sort of thing. And um, although I really don't, I get white, I use white, I wear white. I, I live my life and I wear the white and I take the chance and I just hope that I don't stain. And if I do that, I have great spot cleaners, treaters, and I'm able to get it out as quickly as possible. And so far that has worked for me. Um, so I'm going to wear the whites cause I love them and I am drawn to them. But I did think about this one and the reason that I decided to go for the hooded version in my solid white Define jacket is because I feel like I like the longer length. So like the length really looks nice um, on my frame. I could see how if you were a more petite person that the shorter cropped version might work better for you. But for me, this one works really well. But I went with the hooded version specifically because the um, the other version has that the neck kind of comes up and it touches the sides of your neck and your face. And I don't like, I've mentioned in the past, but I wear makeup just about all the time. I just need everything that I get to be able to be worn with makeup. And I didn't mind having the non hooded version that kind of touches whenever they're in maybe darker colors. Even I got it in white opal and it's not that crisp white, so I'm not as worried about it. But in this case, I just feel like because this has the hood, it lays so flat on my shoulders that there's still some space and I'm not worrying about it touching my makeup, which I know is such a trivial detail to think about, only it really would bother me to have makeup on my bright white jacket. So this is what works for me. I really love the hooded version. I also have the hooded version in the Nulu in black. Um, and I have other colors in the Nulu version, but th those are the only two that I have in the hood, with the hood. So um, 
If you guys already know that the Define jacket just kind of has the beautiful hourglass shape. It sort of sucks you in. It has the vent in the back. This one has the hood. I love these. Cannot say enough good things about them. I do want to say that this one does have the um, hair tie on it. So I've mentioned in the past that when I got the cropped version of it, it didn't have the hair tie. I was bummed about that because I really like that feature and it just is so uniquely Lululemon that I really like that. Um, so this one is a winner. I needed this in my closet and I am going to get so much use out of it. And then the last thing that I grabbed is the Classic Fit Cotton Blend Tee um, in the color white. So again, this is another thing. I'm just thinking about the things that I really know that I'm going to use a lot. I grabbed this Classic Fit Cotton Blend Tank in white. I have worn it so many times. Um, and I knew that the tee would be no different. I actually really like the tee. It has um, a slit on the side, a very small slit on the side. It's a boxy cut, um, but it is not an oversized boxy cut. So it's a little bit cropped and it's a little bit square, but it's more fitted to your body. So I get mine in a size six, which is my true size. I don't size up in these because I like it that it is not super oversized and I like it that it's not super cropped. So I, I just wanted to compare really quickly. I do love the all yours tees and I like the cropped tops, but those are super cropped. This is not, this is, this falls all the way to my waistband, which I really like. And it's not super boxy and square in that it makes you look like a rectangle. So I just like that I still maintain a little bit of shape with this, but it's just your cotton tee. So it is just a cotton tee, it's not like, super luscious and soft the way the all yours tees are it's more of a thicker cotton um so that being said it's not like an over the top it's just a good good basic so i wanted to make sure and grab it in the white i'll wear these this with my jeans easily because it's the kind of tee that this isn't super oversized so it's still a nice flattering cut yeah i will definitely get a lot of use out of it it is definitely different. So if you're an all yours tea girl, this is not the same. And you wouldn't, I personally don't wear them the same way. So I like these for a different purpose and that sort of to, to maintain a little bit of shape, but also it's, it's a cotton tee. So you can wear it for any activity. I can easily wear this to the gym. I will wear this to the gym. I like that it's just a little bit oversized. So sometimes because I wear leggings or um, bike shorts throughout the summertime. Sometimes I don't want a tight top with a tight bottom. Sometimes I just feel like having a little bit more volume and this is perfect. Kate's tees are usually my absolute favorite and I feel like these are a similar, similar shape to a Kate's tee, but um, there's no Kate's tees on the website right now. So this is going to be my um, new go-to for that sort of shape. So. I really like these. I feel like they're a really good staple um, to have in your closet. So that was the last thing for today's review. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite was from today's review. Um, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and like to know it if you are not following me there already because that is where I will post the things that I've picked up and how I style them to go to the gym just to wear casually. Um, and I post on like to know it every single day. So even sometimes I might not have things up on Instagram, but I will have what I am wearing for the day on Like to Know It. So if you need a little inspiration with your pieces that you have picked up, go ahead and follow me there. And yeah, um, thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next video.